Hi, this is Dave with DRH Acrylic Creations. Today we're going to be doing a large round. This is a 20 inch round uh, in uh, called the River Runs Deep. This is my pillow paint going down. Uh, this is PPG uh, Multi Pro. And all of my products, everything I'm going to use, are going to be down in the description below. This is Tri Corn Black. It's another pillow paint. I need a little bit of color, uh, a little bit of contrast, so I put that down. I have three videos listed here that will explain how I mix everything. This is Pearlescent Black. It's by Fire Dots. I'm going to just put down uh, several colors here before I do a swipe. Our next color up is going to be Indigo by Artelier Interactive. You'll see it in the videos, but I, I mix these three parts of my four pouring medium to one part paint. And that's all due to consistency, so it's you'll flex either way. Next we're going to put down some SL activators. Paint is gray, Liquitex, and Titanium White. Uh, by Amsterdam, and the colors that are here are uh, the PBO uh, Blue Green, and the uh, second one is the Indigo again by Artelier uh, Interactive. I'm scraping off the, the excess on the back. Uh, that's all going to spin off later anyhow. Okay, here's the second swipe. Uh, same color uh, scheme is what I had the first one. It's the same thing here. Uh, I think the, the other thing I added there was uh, copper, and this is a uh, this is a fire dodge. Now my pigments are kind of tricky, uh, and I do explain that in the video that I, I put up above. But what I'm doing here is I'm putting down a little bit of black. This is uh, a lamp black by, uh, by Amsterdam with three parts Australia Flow 12. What I'm doing here is I'm just creating a scoop section that I can pull some of the cells and put them within the, uh, within the painting itself. So it's very flexible. This what I'm doing here is the um, a lot of times when you paint, you wait too long, you'll get a skin that outlines the outs the, around the outside, and so I'm just trying to avoid that by scraping the paint in a little bit. Okay, I'm scooping up a little bit, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to lay this in places where I think it needs more interest. Do that again. Now don't worry about that corner over there where I have the the other color paints and they, that that swipe because it's all going to spin off. There's a whole bunch of paint on this on this side uh, this round that needs to come off anyhow, and that will that will go right over the edge. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, I'm showing how I do my soup, scoop, and drags here. I'm going under the paint, picking up the pillow, and dragging it out. I do quite a bit of that here. Just enhancing what's there.
This is playing in the paint. You know, I have a general idea of what I want to do when I come in. I knew that when I sat down for, to do this, this painting today, that I wanted the color scheme that you see. I wanted the, the copper and the blue green and the indigo to be the main aspects of the painting. And the black was just to give something for it to sit on top of. So that was my plan, is to have the arch. And I wanted lots and lots of uh, negative space here. And I think I, I did achieve that. Now I'm just, the, the cells on this are absolutely beautiful. You're gonna see those at the end. So I'll let you watch for a while and I'll uh, let you enjoy the music. If you have any questions or comments or just want to say hi, please leave those comments down in the, the comment section below. I'm doing quite a bit of stretching here, and uh, the point was to, to try to get as much of the paint over basic areas that I wanted to see them. Uh, it's a very large round, and it took some time to cover it. Uh, so I cut up a lot of the cut out the the spinning that I did with that. So uh, I think basically I got to the what I want to show, and it's time for the flyover. I want you to notice the the cells throughout this, you know, that peacock cell and the depth dimension you got with that is, I mean, I could be happy with that. The copper is a wonderful pig, it's a pigment. And the, the definition in that dark area is very, <laughs> I just, this it has so many interesting things with this piece. If you found this video today useful, I invite you to leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and ring the bell for notification of videos that I'll put out. It's my goal to put out at least two per week, and I'm hoping you'll find them useful and enjoyable. So thanks again for being here, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.